Hello guys, what's up? My name is Abrin and I have a really interesting video um, about Cyberspace Space Program. I've been playing this game a lot um, in stock version but also with a lot of mods, real solar system, a few things. Um, but I found a really interesting mod called Principia and this mod is about replacing uh, the stock Cyberspace Space Program physics. Um, especially the orbital mechanics because um, the stock orbital mechanics uh, pro uh, provide a really unrealistic physics because your vessel only gets affected by one body while you are in a theory of influence of a celestial body um, but what Principia does is it adds uh, n-body gravitation it, yeah, it, it adds n-body gravitation that means your vessel gets affected by every celestial body at the same time which means your uh, trajectories and your orbits change completely and all the orbital mechanics change completely and what I'm doing in this re uh, video is showing you how to get to the L4 point the L4 point for the people of you who don't know what it is is the Lagrange, uh, Lagrange point 4 yeah I think that's how you pronounce it and these L points I just call them L points these L points are points um, in a two body system or in a three body system but only two bodies have a high mass high mass and the third body is very small it has a very light mass and in such a system there are five points where a body can float in space only affected by gravity and seem to be forceless that means it stays in a fixed position um, to the two bodies and the L4 point is the fourth point there are two stable points the L4 point and L5 point both are stable that means you can um, stay at this point uh, these points without any further corrections and the other three points L1, L2 and L3 are instable points. Um, you can't stay there because you will drift away after a few orbits uh, unless you do some minor course corrections every time. But first of all I want to show you the L4 point, the Moon Earth L4 point or as it is in Common Space Program the Moon uh, Moon Kerbin L4 point. I've just launched a small vessel, nothing special with lots of delta V, just a simple probe core with some solar panels and some RC, RC, I'm sorry guys, RCS thrusters. And we just gonna put this into orbit. You see, um, there are no patch conics, where are they? They are gone because the patch conics are from stock, uh, stock Kerbal Space Program and they are um, inaccurate because they only use the one body gravitation that um, stock Kerbal Space Program physics use. Um, here with Principia you have a completely new um, way to show your orbits. You can enable uh, the patch conics but you, you don't need them because they are inaccurate. So I'm just gonna circularize my, uh, my orbit and after that I will gonna plot my, my trajectory I really love playing around with this mod, it's really interesting, especially when you are interested in orbital mechanics, in real life orbital mechanics, because it comes really close to how uh, spaceflight works in real life. Um, I'm circulating my orbit here, and you can see you can change the length of the prediction of your orbit, it helps you a lot. Um, we are still very close to uh, to Kerbin. That's why our um, predicted orbit seems to be the same as the predicted orbit by Kerbin Space Program itself, by by Stock Kerbin Space Program. But this will change in a moment when we come closer to the moon. Um, and here you have a plotting frame selection. That's how it's called. You can change from where your um, your orbit is plotted. Um, and it's, it's like a frame of reference from which you are seeing your orbit. Uh, now I switch it back to the moon as a reference because I want to see my position 
um, relative to the moon because the L4 point in such a system is 60 degrees in front of the moon. That's where the L4 point is. Um, if we take the Kerbin system like it is, it would be a three-body system, but because of minimum solar gravity, we can classify it as a two-body uh, as a two-body system with our spacecraft a uh, three-body system, and that's that's okay because of minimum solar gravity. The L points stay nearly the same. So I'm just eyeballing this. You can do it however you want. You can eyeball it. You can take something to measure. Uh, the angle between the Earth, Kerbin, uh, Kerbin, the Moon, and your plotted trajectory. But I'm just eyeballing it. Make it circa 60 degrees, and it will work just fine. So this looks good. We are gonna do two orbits before we uh, we reach our point where we want to be. Um, this orbit looks really strange. That's not how our orbit would look like if you would watch it from above in reference to carbon. That's because I selected the moon as reference frame. Um, so we take one orbit, we go out once and then another time and then we hit the point where we want to go. And it looks this strange because of the reference frame. It's just a simple elliptical orbit which is touching uh, the moon's orbit. And yeah. You can see how our our predicted orbit gets completely different than what you know in stock Kerbal Space Program because of the moon. It's affecting our orbit a lot. Okay, this looks just fine. I think I'm just gonna let it there. Orbit number one. And orbit number two. I'm just switching over to Kerbin. So you can see how it would look like. You see it, it's a simple elliptical orbit. Nothing special. We just did two orbits. That's uh, that's why it looked so uh, looked so strange. Okay, switching back to the moon, so I can see when I reach my final position. We are just coming closer, and this tool you see here is the flight planner. It's also from Principia. It's integrated in this mod because the normal maneuver nodes don't work. Here with Principia. You can't use them. They're useless for you. So they integrated a completely new tool called the Flight Planner where you can plan your flight and create different maneuver nodes and sequences of maneuver nodes to plot your orbits. We're just decelerating. That's what you're seeing here, decelerating in reference to the moon. Um, or if you see, see it in reference to carbon, we would be accelerating. And what you can see here is now our orbit in the L4 point. Just doing the burn in a few seconds. We are coming closer. You need to. You don't need to be 100% accurate. Um, I was just eyeballing this completely. You can take a few tr uh, tries at the first time, but if you've done it several times, it becomes very very easy. You don't need to calculate, uh, calculate a lot. You just need to eyeball it good. Remember, 60 degrees in front is the, the L4 point and 60 degrees behind the moon is the L5 point. Yeah, this, this looks good. I'm just gonna correct it a bit. Okay. Let's see, no wrong direction. This orbit would still be um, a stable orbit as you see it now. This looks fine. I, I just fine tune it with my RCS. Okay. Okay, I think it's, it's nearly good enough. Making it, making it a bit smaller. Nice, perfect. And that's it. That's the L4 orbit. I think it's called a halo orbit, but I'm not sure. I know that the orbits, when you're orbiting the L1, L2 and L3 points are called halo orbits because they look like a halo. I don't know if these orbits are also called halo orbit. 
uh, but you can see these are quite stable when a time warp. You are just orbiting this point, and the position in reference to the moon and Kerbin stays nearly completely the same. It stays 60 degrees in front of the moon. That's why where your alpha 4 point is. And you, you can see how accurate um, this mod is with calculating real and body gravity. That's awesome. That these L4 points, these Lagrange, uh, Lagrange points, really work in in Kerbal Space Program with this mod. It's awesome. <laughs> here, you, um, here you can see Minimus wriggling. It's really funny because that's just the stock predicted orbit that's displayed here. But because of Principia, Minimus orbit changes uh, change all the time. And that's really funny. And with Principia, the planets are not any longer on, on trails, like in stock case P, where they have fixed orbits in Principia. Um, even for the planets and the moons itself, um, they, they get all affected by their, their own gravity. The gravity also works for the, these bodies. You can see uh, Bob is retrograde orbiting Jules because if it wouldn't, it would shoot out very, very early out of the Joule system. Okay, back here. We are still in orbit. That's awesome. This plant is, uh, this place is so stable. You can orbit it for decades here in K the Kerbal Space Program without any course correction. Okay, I think that's nearly it. Um, we reach the L4 point. You can try it on your own if you want to get the mod. I will post the link to the Kerbal Space Program forum page in the description. But you can download it there. You have to um, go to the Principia IRC channel and ask there for the mod. It's, it's not difficult. You just type in a comment in the chat there and you get a link for downloading. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, and I hope we see us again in a later video. If you want to see more videos about Principia, just write it in the comments. Okay, see you guys.